Pretty in trouble. There's going to be a glimpse here on to Puppy, I think. Yeah, Puppy's oh, they got here. He gets the magic missile off. We got Yapsor with the glimpse. The swap, it's kind of a mini one. Puppy trying to sacrifice his life, but Vici gave him will not be tricked today. That's one dead, and looks like mid one is again going to be the second. There's just been no tempo found for oh, Secret here we go. this game. We got a... All right, it is Fast time. Bomb coming for you. It's on Young Eleven. There's the fire blast. Do they have enough damage? They do. He dies mid animation. Fight. At least not yet. Or he's completely mana leaked. Actually, they're gonna go from it. There's the swap. To do apply to Ace again. He's just gonna continue the right click. Ori is dead. 422 gold to Yapsor. Seeker are gonna continue the pressure. Statics don't apply, but Paparazzi pops a BKB, but to no avail. That's three dead. Vici Gaming getting chased. Look how fast Ace is, even with Doom on him. Another kill for Secret. Question is, will Secret continue the pressure? 25 seconds for Medusa to come back. There's a swap on a paparazzi. He's gonna time walk away. Can they kill it? It'll be a dieback. He is dead. Ace seconds Vici gaming another buyback for well they will get the free rush like you said the question is who takes the Aegis either ace or mid one mid one's the one been dying a lot skirts of Vici's base and the right side of the map by just slowly moving safely on oh. doom oh, oh, he's gonna come out doom on to mid one he's on the run right now puppy in position to swap he does a nice job there's the chronosphere only on the one looks like Yapsor might be taking the brunt of the damage but mid one dies on the backside it's a one for one disruptor for OD not what you're looking for if you're secret at least not yet or he pops the BKB Looks like Fatha was the choice. I'm not sure if they're going to get him. Puppy in the meantime, getting a lot of heroes to focus on him with that Spirit Vessel and the right clicks. In the meantime, Ace working towards that Medusa on that kill. Three for two overall. And Ori getting very close to death. And Seeker will finish him off. A triple kill for Land. Looks like Doom will be next on the list. A triple kill for Ace on top of that as Fata falls to the ground. Paparazzi and company. Oh, being attempted by Vici Gaming right now. Fata. The Infest Bomb is on its way. They'll find him. They're going to go off to the Fire Blast. He's going to work on the Paparazzi. We pop the BKB. Chronosphere onto two. Looks like most of the damage not being done. Not really that much, but the Life Stealer. I get the cheese gets, off. Oh my god, he gets the cheese off just in time. Now he's dealing even more damage. The Refresher Charge still on the ground right now. BKB pop by Lan M. Ace working on more supports. It's a two for one. Mid one to first to fall for Secret. Triple kill for Ace. He is an absolute beast. And Medusa falls afterwards. Who picked up the Refresher? Charge. See if they can actually get this kill, Mana Leak again, and that is another kill. That's a team wipe for Team Secret. Paparazzi trying to push out this uh, swap. Huge swap from Puppy. Whoa. That is a long He's range, gone. and he gets destroyed. 84 right. seconds, no void. This might be the beginning of the end of game one of this best of five finals for Captain's Draft 4.0 Ace. Applying more pressure to this tier three tower. The Mystic Snake's not going to do a whole lot this stage of the game. And this is going to be mega creeps for Secret, as they're just going to blow up another member. Disruptor falls to the deck. Ori trying his best to hold the heroes at bay. Pops that BKB along with the Stone Gaze. But Secret doesn't seem to care too much about it. As look at the damage on the Mirage. She jumps in and just gets insta -gift. GG comes out. Team Secret. Wow. That is a ridiculous game from them. Yep, so we're in mid one. See this, this Enfeeble come into play for Fenrir. One of the more annoying spells in the game, to be sure. There's a Telekinesis in the right clicks. This should be first blood for Secret. Unless you get the miss chance, he's going to look through the trees. One more. And I don't know. <laughs> don't shake your head. Young Eleven getting Static Link, but he's going to turn around the double edge. Lots of damage as Yapsor gets the, okay, the Echo Slam solo from Lan M. Yapsor gets the hoof stomp off. It was a decent one, I won't lie. Double edge is oh. enough to help take an item. Fenrir finds Puppy. Yep, Puppy did. Nightmare, hoof stomp, double edge, zipping again from Paparazzi. That's more than enough damage to take Puppy to his grave. And they're actually oh, going to zip in jump. even further. Very little mana to speak of, but they really want this sniper. The telekinesis is there for Yapsor. Stampede to follow, though. They really want this mid one kill, and it looks like they'll find it. Uh, Ace is going to run right into this smoke gank. The hoof sample miss. Nice fissure from Yapsor. And double fissure now coming up from the other side. And there's the Fiend's Grip. An easy kill onto Razor. Nice attempt from Yapsor, but not enough this time around. Steel Stampede will use it to get away. Always handy, being a Rubik in this situation, but he gets caught out for now. Hooks on cancel with the silence. Lots of damage coming out from the side of Vici Gaming. Mid one in the meantime, the black hole onto three heroes with Paparazzi. No mana to speak of. Death Prophet's going to go down. Echo Slam comes out. It's a one for two. Death Prophet extremely low. Gets Yule. We have some TPs here. From Ace, he's gonna get zipped on right off the bat. Paparazzi with the stun. First one coming in. Silence onto two. Hoof stomp. Only gonna be on one hero. Assassinate coming through. The stampede defensively used. Looks like Bane's gonna sacrifice his life for the betterment of his team. Plasma Field connecting on a few heroes. Looks like Ori's gonna drop with that. Yule's keeping alive a little bit longer. There was the stampede. So they might look for a play here. They're finding Puppy. Yeah. Regen rune applied to Paparazzi. This is gonna be an easy kill onto Night Stalker. You have to think. Lanham is here. TP support coming in though. Telekinesis. 
Looks like they'd be able to clean up Young 11 at the very least. You make fun of it now, Cinder. It's going to happen at some oh, point. Oh, paparazzi. Future. Oh, boy. Paparazzi jumps in. Dealing considerable damage. There's the Fiend's grip. Look at that range, but it gets canceled right off the bat. Yapsor steals it for himself. He's going to use it on Paparazzi, but again, gets canceled again. Paparazzi on the other side oh, of the picture. Stomp. stomp onto two. Here comes the Shrapnel in mid one and the Mask of Madness. On the backside, Ace is taking the brunt of the damage with that Spirit Siphon. He's getting extremely low. Will fall. It'll be a trade of sorts, a one for oh. one for now. Looks like the Spirit Siphon going to work as Paparazzi jumps in again. The Echo Slam onto three or four heroes. A lot of damage being applied. The Storm Spirit will lose Aegis, and Ori getting very low. In fact, looks like Secret might be able to clean up here potentially, but Storm Spirit back with that Aegis, and he's going to try to finish everybody Let me check it out. Not Puppy and company are smoked up. Yapsor with the Telekinesis assassinated on its way. Great Nightmares fissure. there, though. He's going to pop the BKB and avoid the damage. Here comes the zip in by Paparazzi. Fanta, he comes in with the Black Hole only on one, but it's a lot of damage being applied to Ori. So has the BKB applied to Cyclone. Not going to keep him alive. The oh. Echo Slam onto a huge damage. Ace trying to finish off some heroes. The Nightmares are very good this game, but it's a two for two. The Sniper dead for Secret, and it looks like they're on the run. Is Ace, the double kill for Paparazzi. Lan M. Looks like he's going to get zipped down by Yapsor, who stole that Storm Spirit ultimate. He's out of mana. That is definitely oh a concern. God, no Paparazzi, the hook stop connect. Enigma stun two force the BKB. Lan M is going to have a huge impact on this game. Maybe not right now, because he might be found out Sentry is placed. Static Link, nice stampede. Second See if they have enemy. any more vision. Paparazzi's here to save the day, potentially. Hoofstone applied into the double edge, and it looks like Puppy will find his way to the grave. Well, or Paparazzi, getting, oh. very low H, or very low on mana. Here goes Roach. This will be a big used. moment. It will. Double damage applied to Paparazzi. He's going to do a lot of damage this fight. They're going to find Ace off the bat, or he's going to pop BKB. Looks like the Earthshaker is going to be going down. Big black hole on top four. Hero, do they have the damage to follow it up though? Is the real question. It doesn't look like it as Yapsor gets taken down. It's a double kill for Paparazzi. Mid one still applying a lot of pressure from the high ground. Nobody's really going towards him. Return aura though, or the what is it called? Yeah, the return strength damage. But either way, looks like we're gonna have some action. Paparazzi jumps in onto Puppy. They're gonna find that kill. Another bloodstone charge for him. He's gonna zip on it again. Remember, he does have Aegis. Looks like we have it. Okay, the black hole. Is that canceled? canceled? Oh no, for secret. Fata now on the run as Vici Gaming are invading their base. That's two kills in the blink of an eye. So does Vici continue on? They still have Aegis for another 30 seconds. They have to be very careful with the timing here. But of course, even if he dies without Aegis, he's going to be up pretty much instantly. He's going to zip on in again, this time onto Razor. He will die finally. Echo Great Slam onto echo. two with the Fissure. And that should do it. GG's come out. And Vici Gaming have tied this up. Now this bottom lane is starting to ramp up for Vici Gaming, I would say. They got the Soul Catcher. They're getting level 3 on Shattered Demon. Luna's oh, already level 3. Diabolkidic takes off the Refraction. Yapsor with the Burrow Strike. Looks like there's some poor coming in the way of Alchemist, but it's going to be first yeah, blood. Aggressive Charlie. It's, it's actually a kind of old school thing to play Shadow Demon and Alk together. Oh, great. Connect. Yeah, yeah. Sword looking for the Burrow Strike. He'll get it. Purification to follow. That's going to be a kill on Luna. Land him in the meantime. Getting that concoction off. Question is, can Seeker digress any further? Yapsor, Burrow Strike coming along shortly. Puppy and company look to take him out. The Purification will hit, and the last hit from Puppy will be enough. The Avalanche toss from Young Eleven, who TPs it. We'll find the kill. Oh. No Burrow Strike. Until now, but there's the Pulse Nova doing so much work. Fenrir, oh, okay, the Eclipse comes He's into play. Die, I think. The Disruption, yeah. yeah, won't save his life at the end of the day. Lucent Beam now being used to full effect, as Yapsor will be the second kill. Sir, and then I think you, you keep pushing waves, at least, and just... Uh Oh, mid lane, Lanham. Yeah, Lanham, he's just a fat body in the middle here. Young 11, there's the GA by Puppy, but mid one taking substantial damage. The Lucent Beam is enough to take him out. And just like that, Secret on the retreat. It looks like Puppy might be next on the list as this concoction. He dies in mid air, double kill for Paparazzi. Lashrak, it feels like he's just going to die if he doesn't have that item. Goes in. And it looks like this tier 2 tower might fall here. As Fata comes in with a double RP into the skewer, into Ace with an Empower on top of him. That is Lan M dropping to the deck. Puppy pops the GA and will go down to the Eclipse. They're going to find two on the back end here. Avalanche Toss will not connect. And Ace struggling to get away as a double kill will find. He's had a hard game. They're going to go high ground. They do not know about this. He's actually channeling it right now. Going to go in on the Luna. Good damage. Skewer. Big skewer as well. Paparazzi looks to be falling, but... In fact, he will. He wasn't the one with the Aegis, actually. Oh, that was side the blade, the And this thing is donezo. The question is, will they go any further? Avalanche is looking for the toss on the outside, but it looks like they're going to find the kill on Young Eleven. A little bit of overextension here for Vici Gaming, potentially. Omni Knight, no GA at the moment.
moment. And no RP is the bigger thing. It's Indeed. like almost impossible to fight into this without an they RP. They essentially traded RP for ages. Oh, he stopped oh, Yapsar's blink. And Yapsar is getting destroyed in that side blades. Is also doing a lot of work as the Epicenter coming through as well. Leshrac will find his way to the grave. He has to buy back in this game. And of course, that is not what Secret wants. Yapsor on the deck for 50 seconds. No buyback to speak of. Lan M getting the concoction off. Looks like he might fall to Ace, but no. He's going to think about it. Okay, looks like mid one was tossed. End up getting the kill. It's a one for one there. And this Rax is in a lot of trouble. Avalanche toss, not quite there. The toss still available as Ace has to part the dark pack. GA keeping him alive for now, but the toss is enough to take him out. And Vici Gaming look to be wrapping up game three in style. The double kill for Ori. GG's come out. If you steal the roll, it's pretty bad. Oh, mid one, taking some good damage here from Lannan and Young Eleven. They're actually going to commit for this quite a bit, forcing a TP from Puppy. They could be in trouble now. Searing chains. That's a kill. Two. Puck taking a lot of damage. Fissure coming in as well. Young Eleven will be first blooded. That, that's that's the, oh, that's one. the one. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah. Telekinesis. Puppy looking for a fissure, but he's going to get impaled first. There's the hex to follow. Lannan and company should be able to take him out, and they do. Lannan will be the trade with that. As Yapsor feeling pretty confident right now, has the wait for him. Young Eleven. What did he steal? Yapsor gets the telekinesis off. Looks like phase it was shift. just the phase shift and not able to use it in time. But here it comes mid one, able to clean not up the puck. Not that good of a rotation. Oh, well, they're trying now. Oh, Medusa TP. TPing in. Has stone gaze, of course. Searing chase coming in. Lannan extremely low to start this fight. He's going to drop right off the bat. Impale comes in as well. There's the fissure onto two. Exorcism is activated. A triple silence into a triple coil. Young 11. Triple kill for Ace, though. Just turns it around. Yapsor able to get a couple, but it's a three for three across the board. Initiate onto Ori. This could be a big kill. He pops the BKB immediately and the Yules. Exorcism still going. Lots of damage being applied to the poor oh, Yapsor. He, failed he, the echo. he dies. Oh. Silence now onto. Darkseer, they're just going to right-click him with that Spirit Siphon, and there's the coil to ensure that that will be a second kill going in their favor. And another Sun coming in, this time on Ace. Gets off the Mystic Snake. How much is it going to help? Mid-1 and company. Slight change back coming up. in. Oh, Paparazzi One failed. maybe has like two stuns. Or not that much luck. Oh, the Exorcisms pop Ori with the BKB as well. The coil and the Finger of Death being used. They're using to try to take down this Medusa. A triple silence with the Greaves. Going to bring him back into the game. But this Ember Spirit is dead. Oh, or, sorry, the the Medusa the is dead. Has buyback available. Fossa's going right, to be next on the list. To allow something like that to happen. And so far, the, w the way that they played in the oh, execution. Oh, they found Yapsor again. Find He's going to get blown up. Not quite enough damage yet. But the crits one will finish him off. The wall comes oh, in. It's going to hit the Morphling. Well Fatha's going to pay for the price. Is Echo Slam coming in? Only hitting two. One with BKB. So that means Puppy will fall next in all likelihood. A nice stun onto Fatha on the backside as well as the Spirit Siphon and company is going, doing absolute work. Next on the list is the Ace Medusa. And this will be a huge kill for Vici Gaming. And they do so. Double kill. And yeah, this tower at the very least is dead. Puppy comes in with a beautiful fissure. They're going to blow up the Morphling, but of course that is just the Aegis. Ori pops the BKB. Looks like they're going to work on the poor Amber Spirit. Buyback was used by Medusa. The question is, will Vici Gaming back up or not? Ori continue with the Spirit Siphon. Looks like Ace is going to continue to deal damage. Gets a Hurricane Pike off, but Paparazzi is there. Puppy and company, they are able to take out Lion, but he buys back into the game. Meanwhile, looks like the Stone Cave is being applied to Ori. <laughs> they'll ring around the Rosie, and they're going to deal substantial damage as he's in stone form. Pops that Shiva's, though. He's very tanky. Gets the Yules off as well. Paparazzi continue to right-click. If they're able to take out Medusa, this will be game in all likely. It's going to be close. He's extremely low. Will they finish him off? They do. That is a dieback, but they do get Paparazzi. Nope. He's still a half HP waveform again. Puppy. Very low gets surged away. They will finally, finally get this Morphling. A triple kill for mid one, but a very expensive one at that. Ultra kill, in fact. So Secret technically See, holds. They're going to try. Uh, onto the low ground, into the Enchant Totem. They're going to try to take him out. He's at half HP, but pops his BKB, and they're going to turn around to Puppy. And down he goes. Shiva's is applied. The roll in by Lanham, trying to find some more kills. Looks like Fata will be next. About to spawn, but Vici Gaming are actually going for an aggressive play instead. I think this is oh, a bit risky. Oh, the coil uh. misses. The waning rift to follow. Will they follow through or not? Two waveforms used. Looks like Secret's going to try to turn this around on the mistakes that Vici have made. But the BKBs are popped galore. Looks like Puppy's going to be first to fall, so no Echo Slam being used in this fight. Looks like Ace uses that ult to get a nice telekinesis. A lot of damage being applied, but the, the push through with Lan M might not be able to get out himself. The sacrifice will be worth it, though, if that comes to be. 
Yules onto Death Prophet. They're gonna find the Earth Spirit at the end of the day, and Ori's in a lot of trouble now, getting slowed by the Scotty. Can they do enough damage to finish him off? It looks like it will be the case. So two dead for Vici Gaming as Secret want to continue the pressure. Fenrir looks to be next. That's gonna be an easy pickup on the way. Stun him at any time to prevent him from going in. One here comes the Yapsor initiation. They're gonna try to blow up the puck. There's the back and the wall. Will it be on the Morphling is the question. Pops the BKB and just right clicks that Darkseer down easily. We'll have to find a different avenue as the wall is in the way. But Secret do oh, take out doing another a lot hero. Of the buyback goes the Death Prophet. That's two for one right now. One buyback into the game from Yapsor. Fenrir in the meantime being isolated. But on the backside in the river, Ori trying to catch up to Ace. Not a whole lot of mana right now as Morphling attempting to catch up. There's the E-Blade. There's the Adaptive Strike. And there's the Death. Double kill for Ori. Okay. Somehow staying in this game. Okay, Lanham. Lanham jumps in, gets telekinesed into the fissure and into the right clicks. Ace has to pop the stone gaze. Might be a waste. He's going to try to get out, but that TP is canceled. He gets turned into a stone, though, and into that wall as well. We'll see how much damage that illusion is going to end up doing, but it looks like they're going to bring down that very tanky Medusa. And this is like the safer approach from yep. Vici, so showing very good understanding of the risks. And oh, Echo Slam used. Impale to follow, though. Here comes mid one, dealing tons of damage. Ori half HP with the BKB activated. The Morphling died right off the Bad. He was full agility, so they just found the great initiation for Secret. Now here's the Hex. See if they can find some more. Young Eleven, nice fissure from Puppy again. They're going to try to take... There's a Refresher. Ori pops the BKB. Young Eleven with the nice coil onto two heroes into the crypt form. Here comes Paparazzi. He bought back into the game, and he's dealing a ton of damage. Double kill for him. Puppy looks to be next on the list. That is going to be a third kill from that buyback. Well so worth useful it. now that he's used Indeed. to his shard. If they can get Paparazzi here, this will be a dieback. Here comes Fata with a back into the wall, into the right clicks. But Ori taking lots of damage on the sideline. Morphling and company, they get the rack. They should be happy with this. Ori, he gets Searing Chains, has to pop BKB again. He's extremely fast right now. Lan M rolling out. Ori might be the sacrifice if they're not careful. The Fissure does not connect with Ori, though. Lan M looks to be doing that for his team. And down he goes. So 40 seconds with no puck, 82 with no Earth Spirit. Mid one has the Mid Redman recharge talent. He There's keeps having Searing Redmans. Chains. He gets healed up thanks to the Exorcism. Gets silenced into Telekinesis and the Fissure. Can they actually finish him off? With Fenrir and Paparazzi, it's very tricky here for Seeker. They can continue to try to CC this Death Prophet. But Paparazzi deals so much damage, they have to fear that. They will take him down. That is the Aegis, though. And Morphling has to pop the BKB. Mid one and Secret will continue to try and chase either hero. Oh, go for for this Morphling. This is be huge. Take a fake He's going to go down if he's not careful. This is going to be a huge kill for Secret, and down he goes! 120 seconds, no Morphling! Can Secret actually do this? this the, his actual ult just came up as well, so no Morphling though for 100 seconds. Here comes the coil, onto two heroes. On, he actually stole it, did, did the Rubik, and Ori's going to pop the BKB with that Exorcism Ace. Trying to kite him to a high degree, he's going to get stunned up. Can they bring him down again? There's the wall, he's taking tons of damage! There's a right click, there's the Echo Slam! He takes them out, and Secret are going to force this to a Game 5 some way, <laughs> somehow. How is this possible? How? How, Cinderin? How? Explain this to me. Game 5 of this best of 5 will be coming. Lord. Secret. Right click damage coming out. Looks like we have cold feet, but Lan M super fast. He's just going to walk it off. More decays coming. Yapsor is getting quite low. Looks like mid one's going to join the fight. Yapsor is going to take an arcane bolt to the face. Lan M running away, but the secret gets the last hit. Cold feet does apply, and Fenrir has continued the pressure. The spark wraiths will apply to Yapsor now. Mid one with one raise. Not able to finish anybody off. He does get the Skyrath made, but will fall shortly after. <laughs> Lan M and Ori quite low in the meantime. Looks like Ace has come into play. He has the poof available. Not able to get a kill with it. Lanham one right click away. They're going to chase Ori instead. Probably the right choice. Dual Breath comes in. Looks like they will get it with the cold feet from Puppy. In the meanwhile, Yapsor, reality rifted. We have a Paparazzi Chaos Knight in the bottom lane now. Yapsor will be the sacrifice. But All right. Yapsor is uh, juking them. Nope. The reality rift is there. Decay. Chaos Bolt only one second. Phantasm being used. Not getting the RNG, but doesn't matter. One illusion is more than enough to take him out. And the counter kill is inbound. Yep, Ace, there's the Earth Bind. Poof's coming in. Puppy with the cold feet and another death. Well, Fauna's taking no damage, by the way. At yeah. least not yet. That Vanguard not going to do much Double against the flux. magic damage, though. Another Spark Wraith coming in. There's the Roar. They should be able to finish him off. A much needed kill for Vici as Yapsor trying to juke his way out of these Spark Wraiths, but. He's just going to deal as much damage as he can before his inevitable death. As there's an Ice Vortex placed by Puppy, forcing everybody out. Everyone's running away as if 
Oh, Fata's gonna jump and he's gonna get the calling. They didn't even bother having to cast that. It's an easy kill, but there's the Mystic Flare. They're gonna clean him up in turn, so it's a one for one. Paparazzi getting slowed to a high degree, stuck inside Ice Path. Damn, that was close. The reality Rift was available. Ice Path is here, puppy. See if he ends up being the sacrifice. They're they're scared to go any further in the jungle. Fenrir is solo super Ori slow right now. He is going to get destroyed. And you're right, Ori dies on the other side of the map. Here comes the Axe Call. Beautifully done. Ice Blast on the two. Into an Ice Path as well. Paparazzi looking to run, but extremely slow. There's the Culling Blade. Fata looking for more. Can he get a second with that Berserker's Call? That is a resounding yes. Another kill for Secret with a 6k lead. And here comes Meepo to clean up even more. And you'll spawn. Sure that. Where your main Meepo was, so this is a very dead. strong. Oh okay, boy, this will be a huge kill for Secret, and they just destroy him easily. Secret oh. continuing to roll over Vici as Ori might be found out here. Puppy positioning himself quite cockily. It looks like he will fall actually, but will it be a turnaround? Indeed, Ori, another easy kill for Secret. Looks very the dead. running out. They're not using it. It's yeah, just letting it expire. Yeah, use it. Lannan's just getting destroyed right off the bat. Ace to follow. That's the Aegis, though. There's a Requiem of Souls. That's two dead. Taking some damage. Look how far back Vici is. It doesn't even matter. Mid one jumps in. This is the zoning Requiem yeah. of Souls. They're just going to go for buildings all likelihood. Lannan is dead. Paparazzi next. Double kill for mid one as a Mystic Flare coming into play, but not dealing that much damage. Okay, they do take out the Aegis at the very least. Surprised that Seeker aren't just cleaning up the buildings. As Ace will be trying to poof away, he will do so successfully. The tier three tower is dead, and this will, in all likelihood, be Meep or <laughs> will be Meepo taking out the racks and Mega Creeps to follow. Here's the last fight of the game, in all likelihood, Ice Path coming in. Ori is done, so 55 seconds on the deck. GG's come out. Team Secret are the champions of Captain's Draft 4.0.